Hi, Claire. How are you? Oh, just fine. Good just fine. Pleasure yeah. You. Yeah. Um, well, we're here at uh, Arnie and Karen Kirkham's here in Molala, and we're here to look at that uh, urban system that we talked about. Arnie has a uh, 86 by 125 foot lot, and he's put in a rainwater harvesting system, and we're going to head out, and he's going to tell us all about it. Welcome. Right. Yeah, that's Thank correct. You. Okay, let's head out. Okay, Arnie, uh, how long have you had this system in? Oh, it's, uh, it was earlier in the summer, so two, three months. Okay, so you were able to use it uh, as far as there was enough water right, to we've actually had a, use it? Right, we've had a couple of rainstorms that um, have filled it up, uh, have filled it up um, quickly a couple times. Okay, quick, that's yeah, it. Yeah. Well, uh, how, what's the size of the barrel? Uh, you know, I think it's a 70 gallon. It's an old pickle barrel. Okay. that uh, this company is using and uh, keeps the cost down and they as you can see they've drilled some holes in it to, for some spigots and some outlets and stuff and uh, uh, it's very economical okay 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 now uh, water comes off the roof and why don't you just describe what you did yeah basically what happens is uh, when this house was built they attach it to the uh, they put pipes in to run out to the street to uh, run out to the uh, the sewer system and so basically all I did was is cut the uh, cut the downspout off and just added a uh, flex hose and run it into the barrel I've, I've I've, um, I've raised the uh, barrel up so I can. Uh, um, oh, this just slips on there, doesn't it? Yeah, it just it just it just slips right off. Just oh, wow. a, I just took a sawzall and cut it off. Hacksaw, okay. sawzall, whatever you want to do. Real real simple. Took you know really took 30 seconds to do it. Okay, okay. And it just just sits in there and uh, there's no problem and uh, there's a screen so that the uh, water doesn't. Uh, um, get any you know material in it and okay. um, you can see that uh, you, you can't see inside of there but uh, it fills up it's nice and full okay. um, if it gets too full there's a, a drain going back into the system so it doesn't run into my yard or it goes underneath the house okay so this goes in there and that so it saves sure. on yeah and it's they're small enough that you're not going to get mosquitoes in there so you don't have to worry about mosquitoes. well that's one of the things yeah you don't have to worry about that at all you don't have to worry about mosquitoes uh, you really don't have to worry about too much allergy that like I said there's an old pickle barrel so they're designed to uh, you know to uh, hold that stuff and actually what I'm going to do here like I said there's just I just have two of them on the property now uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to put uh, three of them here okay. so I can capture as much as I can it's, it's kind of hidden behind these plants a little bit so you can't see them from the yard and that's now, the advantage yeah now, now you said that you have another spot that you had barrels another I do. barrel it's on, oh, okay. the, uh, on the south side of the house the south side of the garage okay well maybe we can go over there sure let's do that too okay <clears throat> Claire, here's the other one. It's on the uh, south side of the garage here. Okay. Um, I put this one in because uh, when I put my uh, garage uh, downspouts in, I ran the water out back, and the water out back that becomes an ephemeral stream, and there's a lot of there's a lot of water there. So okay. if I could use some of this water, maybe I can keep it out of the backyard and okay. and uh, keep it from running out into the river a little okay. bit. Now it's a, the exact same setup as before, and you were mentioning that you're going to put more barrels in. I am. Uh, the original um, design that we did was for 10 barrels around the yard, so I hope to put uh, two more here uh, for the western exposure, and then maybe three over, and I'm, I'm not sure, maybe two uh, for the eastern exposure over there too on that on that downspout. So, so you're you're still just exper you know, you're still experimenting. You you put in your initial ones, see how they work, right? And then you add as you I am going to add. I I am going to add. Uh, to this again uh, I kind of have to see maybe go through a year uh, to see how much water I'm actually going to use and you know okay. see, see what there is okay yeah now uh, how do you get this how do you get the water to the to the uh, plants. To the plant. uh, well, there's a spigot as you decide when you buy this thing. Everything comes with it, um, and so there's a spigot, and the water just runs out. So I, I just take uh, I just take my my watering can and I just fill it up. Oh, okay. And then if I want to, if I want to, I can run a hose. I can attach some kind of a small pump to it if I want to. I haven't gone there yet, okay. but I could attach some kind of a pump there um, if I want to run it out to the lawn or whatever I want. Because if if I you know if I have 70, 80 gallons here and I multiply this by 10, I'm gonna have some water. Okay. Yeah. And that's you're not going to be wanting to carry uh, no. carry these things, so you'll have a little pump and just can just shoot it out there. Right, right. Now, and it's really I think it's really nice for the plants. The plants seem to do better if they have a, uh, a natural water as opposed to uh, a city water. Yeah, yeah. Now one of the things I see here is that that those screens are really doing their job and they're taking some of this stuff that's come off the roof and they're actually doing it, huh? Yeah, they really do. Like you said before, they also keep the mosquitoes out. And uh, we can open this up here, and you'll see that uh, with the rain that we've had. Um, you know, we've had, we're about half full. Okay. 
And we could also, you take the screen, and uh, I haven't done it yet, but I'm sure we could just take a hose and just wash this off. Oh, yeah, and this, like out. I said, you can see, you can, you can see that it, these were not designed. These were uh, drilled in there. The screen was just glued in there. Real simple system, actually. So you know, if you happen to have extra barrels at home, you can actually do this. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Okay. Okay. So you might ask him how much the systems cost? What? I, I believe they're, uh, if I remember correctly, they're about $85. Okay. Um, and that includes with the, uh, the where I got them on the website uh, was about um, uh, 85 to $90, and that included shipping. So, and it comes just like you see it. You have to do, I mean, it's a 30-second assembly. It actually comes with the electrician's tape uh, so when you, uh, you know, so you don't get leaks. It's, I mean, it's very, very simple to do. So, you know, I imagine you did some research into this. And Boy, I did a lot of research trying to find, uh, there are rain barrel systems out there, um, and they actually call these a system. There's actually a uh, rain barrel systems out there for seven, eight hundred dollars. You mean like ones like these? Um, they're obviously way they're more elaborate, okay. way, okay. way more elaborate, yeah. Okay. Uh, one of the things we haven't talked about is I, I raised these up with a little stand, okay. and I just used some old 4x4, four four, uh, pressure treated 4x4 four four that was laying around. Uh, my neighbor had some, and I just put a couple screws in it, oh, and it, yeah. it, it keeps it kind of tight, keeps it up so my, my, uh, my uh, spigot there will go. So your bucket goes under, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. That's what I call, you know, just you know, piecing it together and having a really, a, a really good system. Cheap. Yeah. All right. Cheap and functional. There you go. That's what we're going. Cheap yeah, and functional. Really. That's right. That's right. Okay. Uh, well, you know, you were talking about uh, where we use this stuff. Um, um, maybe you can, we can get over here and, and sure. take a look at some of the spots and see sure. some other things. Well, Claire, one of the things that uh, one of the things that uh, uh, people may or may not understand is that um, on a on a typical roof. Uh, you have a lot of surface area okay. and so if you take that surface area and then you add rainfall uh, here's the rain that we've had uh, in the past um, about a week week and a half and it's uh, three and a half inches oh, gee. And so yeah. if you take three and a half inches and you multiply it by the surface area of a standard roof that's a lot of water yeah. and that's running into the systems you know yeah. when we were over at uh, Patty and Paul Jarrett's uh, we paste off a 20-foot uh, section like would be on your roof, sure. and that 20-foot section it takes 12,000 gallons. Yeah, so you do the math, and it's, yeah. it's a lot of rain, a lot of water. That's right. That's right. So. Uh, and we're going to use the. I'm, I'm primarily going to use the water. I might use it for my little pond here. We have got some fish in there, and then primarily uh, for the hanging baskets is what I'm going to use it for, because uh, you know you get the hanging baskets, and uh, during the summer it gets pretty hot and they dry out. You got to water them once, maybe twice a twice a day. And then uh, just for general uh, yard use, and yeah. then also in the back, I hope to put a greenhouse, and I would use it. Uh, uh, I hope to have that in by next uh, spring, and I, I would use it exclusively for that too. I, mean, I see you use a lot of pots around the yard also. I do, and again, they, they heat up, the sun heats yeah. them, uh, and again, uh, I would use the water for that. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. it. Okay, well that pretty well that pretty well shows it. Uh, sounds good, and it's like I say, it's simple and easy, and. Uh, and uh, adds to your uh, adds to your uh, your baskets and your yeah. pots and stuff like that. So um, that just about ends it for rainwater harvesting. We'd like to thank uh, Patty and Paul Jarrett that we visited earlier, and and here we have Ernie and, and Karen Kirkham over here in Molala. Um, we will have do keep an eye on the uh, on the program, and uh, there's some websites and uh, phone numbers that you might be able to call for additional information. And so thank you from the Clackamas Soil and Water Conservation District.